welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a book haul and unboxing. It's weird, I go through these phases where I'm not buying any books and I'm not getting any books from publishers and then like all of a sudden within a two day period I just get everything. <laughs> so we have a couple packages here to go through and I bought some books. If you watched my October TBR, which I will link it I always forget which side, but I'll link it and you can go watch that because um, all these books are on my October TBR. I tweeted that I placed an order of like spooky books and these are the ones that I ended up getting. So I'll go through these kind of quick. If you want to know like more about them, you can watch my TBR. But I picked up Strange Grace by Tessa Gratton, Toil and Trouble, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This book is already getting dirty. <laughs> I hate these matte black covers because they get dirty so quickly. And then Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. And like I said, all of those are on my October TBR and I talk more about the synopsis and what they're about. On to the packages that I got. This first one I'm just going to open up really quickly because I don't have much to say about it. I got what I believe is a box with Map of Days inside it which is the fourth novel of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know nothing about the series. I've never read it. I think I even unhauled the first book because I didn't see myself ever reading it. Whoa, this is bigger than I expected. Um, so yeah, I got Map of Days. There's also something in here. I'm probably, don't quote me on it, but I'll probably end up doing a giveaway, maybe on Instagram. If I do, I'll link it down below because I don't need this. But I think someone else will love it so much more. What is, oh, it's one of those like old like, oh cool, oh, it has like all those creepy pictures inside of it. I wish, I wonder if, can I show you guys, can you see? Can you guys see? Yeah, so I'll probably do a giveaway with these two things. Next, I got this package from Hachette. I think I know what's in here because um, one of these books I requested on NetGalley and then I got an email from the publicist asking if I wanted an, a physical arc and then they also offered me another book that they're publishing that sounded really good. So, but I don't know because it feels like there's a hardcover in here. Okay, it is what I thought it was going to be, but one of them's a hardcover. I did not know they were going to send me a finished copy. That is, that's so exciting. Okay, so I'll show you the arc first. So this is Empire of Sand by Tasha Shuri. This is an adult India-inspired fantasy, and it sounds so good. The blurb says magic is in her blood, and it's about these people who are descendants of desert spirits, and they have, like, magic in their blood. And so the main character... The Emperor finds out about her ability and he kind of like wants to control her. This just sounds great. I'm super excited and this comes out in November. And then the other book that I can't believe they sent me a finished copy of is The Sisters of Winterwood. Sisters of the Winterwood by Rena Rossner. And this is a fantasy inspired by Russian folklore, I think. Yeah. Um, it sounds really good. This is a book that I have seen really good reviews from people that I really trust. Also, I believe, yeah, the two main characters are Jewish, and this will be the second fantasy I've read this year with Jewish main characters. The other one being Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I have read reviews that this is the type of book that, like, people are either going to love or hate because it's told from the point of view of two sisters, and one of these sisters' points of views is told in verse, which I'm actually really excited about. So, like, one sister has just, like, regular prose, and then the other one, as you can see, is told in verse. I, I think I'm gonna love this. I'm really excited. And this, I believe, came out last week. I don't know. It came out really recently. And then the last package I got is from Macmillan. Whenever I get packages from Macmillan, I never know what it's gonna be. Oh, okay, cool. So this is The Phoenix Empress, which is the sequel to... Where is it? Oh, it's right here. The Tiger's Daughter. I have not read The Tiger's Daughter yet. Ooh, these spines look nice together. I haven't read this yet, but I'm, I really, really want to, which is why it was right down there because I have a pile of books down there that are ones I want to read before the end of the year. Basically all I know about this is it is a fantasy about two female warriors who are in love with each other which just sounds amazing. This comes out in October. I don't know if this is like if it's a duology or if there's gonna be more but I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna try to read these before the end of the year. So those are all the books that I've gotten recently. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!